Dynamic product blocks allow you to further personalize your emails by including the products that are relevant to customers, whether they are added them to cart, whether they started checkout with those products, or if they simply viewed the products, or even if they bought the product in the past and you kind of want to remind them of that product. Dynamic product blocks allow you to do all of that. I will start with a couple of examples. So one of them is abandoned cart email. Clay, your abandoned cart is actually abandoned checkout. So this email will be triggered when the customers added a bunch of items into their cart and then they start a checkout with them. This type of dynamic product block is able to display multiple items if there are multiple items in the cart. Another example is browse abandonment. This is also simply a dynamic product block showing the image of the product that they viewed. It's just slightly different configuration and styling. So in this video, we'll look into how to create the abandoned checkout dynamic product block, but you can do absolutely the same process for all of the other dynamic product blocks that Clavio has available. We will get started in the flow step. You will click on create flow. You will find one of the templates. Make sure to take the abandoned, the standard abandoned cart reminder and not the one that is triggered by this gear metric. So not the added to cart standard. If you don't have SMS, you can simply remove it. You can change the name if you want to. If you want to use this flow as your as your skeleton, uh, we will remove the SMS. And go to the editor. And this is it. You already have the dynamic product block. If you go to preview and test, and if you already have some recent events for the checkout started, you will already see that the dynamic product block is working. If you don't have an active store, make sure to go to your store and go through the checkout, kind of not the whole process, but like start the checkout with some products in your cart to trigger this event. So that's exactly what I did. Added a bunch of things to the cart. So I have something to preview it with. If you have multiple events, you'll be able to scroll through them to preview as different products. So now everything is linked. The images would be linked. You will see that they will take you to the product pages. This button will take you back to the cart. So all of the variables here are working. What you can do now, you can either style everything here if you want to use this flow as your framework. And if you want to use this template as your starting point, you can start styling everything at your header, your footer, your unsubscribe buttons. Or you can save this as a universal content. You will save this. And if you have another template ready with, you know, your styling and everything, if you use your master template as a starting point, if you don't know what master template is, I really recommend you get one for your account or not get one, but set it up for yourself. It will make creation of all the other emails much easier. I will include the link to a video on how to create a master template in the description. Anyway, after you saved it as universal content from that Clavio regular framework, you will simply go to the universal content. You will find your dynamic product block and paste it in here. You will notice that the style in here got updated automatically. It was blue here and now it's pink. And that's because my styles for this template are set up so you will see that i took some time to to choose my headings styling to choose my links styling to make sure that every piece of every block in this email that i add will be on brand and will be just like my website so whatever i will type I will be able to apply that styling automatically. That's why the blog got updated automatically as well. So you can preview this to make sure it's working. Everything is in here. If you want to use a brand new template or your master template as a starting point, you will also go ahead and clone this URL. 
and paste it into your button URL. This is it, your dynamic product block ready. Just a quick note that abandoned cart's dynamic product block will have different configuration compared to your browse abandonment dynamic product block or add it to cart dynamic product block, for example. That's why you will need to repeat this process for each of your flows separately. So for example, if you need a browse abandonment configuration, you will use browse abandonment flow from Klaviyo library and you will use this block as your starting point. Make sure to always send yourself a test with no matter what you are doing and always click on all of the links. Make sure that everything is working. Make sure everything is on brand for you. There's a lot of styling changes that you can do here. So for example, if you want this to be smaller, you can simply change the size if you want to remove the quantity because it doesn't really, you know, make sense for you. You can do that as well. And there are also other settings that you can apply. So for example, if you want your image to be bigger or smaller, you can do that here. Just don't, don't mess too much with the configuration to make sure you don't break the block, but you can always start from the start by copying the Clavia standard block. This is it. This is the simplest and easiest and quickest way to create a dynamic product block in Clavio. I hope this is helpful.